Hello there and welcome back to Building the Boys. We now have issue four of Fan Home's Build the Infinity Gauntlet. Yes. What have we got, Oz? Yes. We're getting detailed for the back of the glove. We will also be completing the Mind Stone. Um, if you haven't yet, please remember to like what else they need to do, Oz. Subscribe. Helps us massively and we love having you on for the journey because we're going all the way to the end on this one, issue 100, when we're going to snap everything yeah. we don't like out of existence. <laughs> um, there's quite a lot to do with this. Um, we'll be using the big glove. Uh, we'll be adding the pieces to here. And what this does is the detailer also covers these seams. So you see the seam where it joins. You won't see that because the detail is going to cover that up to make it look as if it's one solid glove. Um, the the, uh, the mine stone will be completed in this one. We'll be mounting this to this. And again, as I said, we did get batteries. Um, so we got batteries in issue one and two for this. I'm hoping you did because I've heard a few yeah. people say they didn't. I mean, if you didn't, you can get these batteries. They're not hard to get, but you should have got some. So if you didn't, you message Fan Home and you say, where's my batteries? Where's my batteries? Because you, you, sh you should have had them. You should have because they said they're providing batteries for all of the stones. You had three stones. You should have had three sets of batteries. It really is that simple. Um, Nine at the batteries. end of, exactly. At the end of this one, we will be talking about our 49th. Uh, hero on our list. Uh, in the last hero we spoke about, Gambit was number 50. This is 49. It's a very different kind of hero, but a hero nonetheless. Yeah. It's a good one. Um, if you'd like to contact us, you can at buildingtheboysoutlook.com. But without further ado, let's get this open and let's get this built. So here's everything we get in issue four. So we get all these details, but we also get, um, as Oscar pointed out, they skin Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> skin Thanos. So we have a microfiber cloth you can polish up your detail and, and keep it nice and uh yeah it, it is what it is a microfiber cloth that you can use to polish your stones you can polish Thanos, your one of the most greatest villains in all of history skinned by some f worker at fan home yeah oh um, my god and i mean he is essentially he's the same color as grimace from mcdonald's as well which, <laughs> which is you know unfortunate anyway let's bring up our big glove let's get these uh let's get these parts installed because i'm looking forward to seeing how this looks okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these decorative pieces look kind of like wings as these here and they are going Falcon's to fit wings. it in they do look kind of like wings don't they that's going to fit in there like so then we're going to take the other one and that's going to fit in here like so like so now listen flip this over and screw these in i can't see these holder when i do that so i'm taking one out I'm holding one on, we're going to flip this over and we're going to screw it in place. Okay, so we flipped our gauntlet over and taken uh, some three and one or just a touch on there. We're going to put three screws in place. We'll start with this center one first. And three and one really does make a difference, just eases the transition so much into here. We're just laughing at Jack's demands for a Nutella sandwich. <laughs> do you think that work if we do that? Mum, can you make us bacon sandwiches and donuts and bring us up tea? Thanks. <laughs> we wish. Yeah, I know. We wish, right? All right, so let's uh, get that one done. This is two. And then yeah. a third one. Goes in. A spot. Yeah, I can see where it goes. It's a bit weird, but I can see where it goes. It goes here. Very odd choice of places. It is. It does seem unusual because it's, but you know, it's fine. It's what they want us to do. Assembly guide four. So that's those three, and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, so that's how we're now looking there. We've got more detailing to put on. So let's grab this detailing out. So our little piece here. Just going to slot in there. This one is going to slot in here. And our final piece, which kind of looks like an arrowhead, uh, is going to slot in which way around does this go on? So look at this the right way around. Yeah. Yep. It's like that. Yeah. It's going to slot in there like so. 
so you can see what that one goes there. And this is how we're looking. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to screw all of these in place. Okay, so we're starting with this piece up here first. There we go. So we're going to this hole here and this hole here. Again, they have very kindly, we're only using one screw up at this point, so that makes life a lot bloody easier when they keep swapping out screws on you. But we have used three in one oil, just to use the transition of these and get these in. This is one. I have another one to do. So again, just a touch in the three in one oil, like so. Pop that one in there. Do you know what I realised the other day? What's that? That, um, oh, I've just gone blank, never mind. Okay, I'm sure it'll come to you. There we go, so that's that one in. Uh, now we're going to do the same thing, we're going to put in two screws here and two screws here to hold the side parts on. Okay, so those are now screwed in and that is now looking lovely. You can see that, let's zoom out a little bit so you can see this. Whoa. Okay, so that's now complete. You can see what we've got going on here. We've got this piece in, which cover that join lovely. Here, here, and here. It's starting to really come to life. Uh, we're going to put this to a side for now, and we're going to be working on the uh, the stone. Okay, so this is the piece we're working on. You are going to need your springs that came in issue two. So there's those ones there. And you're going to need your stone itself. Um, so we are going to apply our springs... Uh, onto here and here, I think. Yeah, so our springs are gonna go over there like so. Uh, and then we need the mine stone itself. And that's Do going to go it? this way up, I believe. Nah, see, okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that the other way. We're gonna take the piece that came with this one. That's this one here, and we're gonna put our mine stone in there, like so. And then we're gonna present this to that, and we're gonna screw that in. So let's hope this all holds. There we go. So that's how that is now locked in place. I flip this one over, and what we're going to do is we're going to put in how many screws that are four? Uh, I think it's four, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four screws in there, and then this part will be complete. Okay, so that's all four of those screwed in, and that is how we're now looking. So a press of this. Ah, mine stone. Uh, now, friend of the channel, Alan Palmer, said that he wasn't happy with how white this was looking. I can kind of see that. I mean, mine's not so bad. Mine's quite yellow. But um, I can see what he means by there, there is a white light behind it. He actually added some yellow electrical tape to the bulb. Oh, that's smart. It's very smart. Um, and it's made this a lot yellower. So I think we're going to try that. Not right now because I haven't got any. But we, I think we're going to give that a go. And a full credit to Alan for that idea. Because, I mean, you can see on camera this is incredibly yellow. But I can see with the naked eye you can see a lot more white than what the camera's picking up. Yeah. Um, do you see what I mean? So you can see, Oz, you look at the camera there, you can see how yellow this is. Yeah. But then to the naked eye, it's a lot whiter. So um, I think we're going to we're gonna give Alan's, uh, Alan's trick a go. Um, but that is all for that one. Let's see what this looks like inside the glove. So this will quite simply fit inside the glove, like so, and the magnets hold it in place. Look at that now. Those are our two stones lit up. Where's the uh, where's the aisles? The red one doesn't look that good on camera, but to the naked eye, the naked eye looks a lot redder than it looks on camera. It's a strange one, this. But there we have our uh, our three stones powered up and ready. But um, yeah. come on, man, this is well, it's gonna go that way around. But this is this is looking bloody good, really bloody good. Uh, that's all for this one. Let's have a chat. So that's issue four complete, and wow. I mean, it's looking... Come yeah. on. It's looking real nice. Really, really nice. 
Look at that. You can see the glare. Look at the glare of those. Look at how much light these are kicking off. Those looking beautiful. Really, really impressive. Are you happy yeah. with this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's nice. If you're just sticking around for the build instructions, thank you for stopping by. If you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. Help the channel massively. And we love having you on for the journey. We're going all the way to 100. But we're going to click everything we don't like out of existence. Um, if you are uh, sticking around for our Marvel talk, we are talking about a 49th hero on our top 50 list. Who is it, Oz? Uh, it is Namor. Namor, also known as... King of the Atlanteans. Also known as the Submariner. And this is um. him. Tell me about Namor, Oz. Uh, so, Namor is the son of, like, an American sailor or pirate kind of guy. And also Queen of the Atlanteans. So he's half human. So, yeah, he's half human, but he has gills so he can breathe underwater and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he's a really interesting character. He becomes King of the Atlanteans. Now, he started out as a villain, didn't he? Yes, he's started out as a villain to the Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four. His first uh, appearance was Fantastic Four, issue four of the Fantastic Four. So, Which yeah. is why it surprised me that he appeared in Black, Black Panther. Panther. Um, because I, I genuinely thought that even if he was in Black Panther, that there would be some link to, um, to Fantastic Four. Yeah, I thought at least one of the members would show up in that. Now, spoilers for those of you who haven't seen Wakanda forever. Um, Namor doesn't exactly have um, a full face hero turn by the end of it, does he? No, he doesn't. He's still kind of... Yeah. He's, he's not, he hasn't gone from villain to hero. Um, and there is an argument on whether or not he is a villain in Wakanda forever. He's yeah. Because he, he's fighting for his... His right, people, people, no different to how the, the Wakandans are. So it depends, I suppose, who's, whose side you're kind of looking at it from. Um, but Namor's a great character. I mean, he's a really good character. Where you are limited with a kind of an aquatic character, where, I mean, for example, Aquaman is incredibly limited because yeah. all of his stories have to take place in the ocean, really, for it to make any kind of sense. I mean, naturally, they do go out on land and whatnot, but he's pretty useless in a desert. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 he can talk to the sea life and make it, but I mean... His it's, weakness is water. He can't survive without it. So. Exactly. So even though his strength is his weakness. Whereas Namor's got a bit more going on than that, because Namor can just, you know... He's half human, so... Yeah, okay. and with his trident and whatnot, he can, he can do a lot. He's got a lot going on. Naturally, likenesses and similarities are going to be called between the two. Um, now, Namor himself, I know his first appearance in modern Marvel was in Fantastic Four... Four, but um, he was a Bronze Age character. He's one of the three kind of original um, characters around during World War Two. He so was, was in the Invaders. He was in the Invaders, yeah. um, <laughs> along with Captain America and the Human Torch, if I'm right. Yeah, they were in it. Did, weren't they friends with like the Wizard? Yeah, well? yeah, yeah. So be before Marvel, as you know it now, existed. Some of these characters existed before. So Captain America was around in the 1940s, uh, as was the Human Torch, as was yeah. Namor. It wasn't until we get to the Silver Age of Marvel that these characters sort of got reinvented as they are now. But um, Namor's a great character. I mean, again, he was a villain for the longest time and then became... I wouldn't say he's a hero. I wouldn't outright call him a hero. I would say he... He just he, hates... He hates humans. Yeah, he does. He's, he's, got, he's got a big problem with humans. I would say his thing is... That he is of his people for his people, yeah. and that's it. So he does act heroically, but other times you'll see him act as a villain. And it's like, but is he? He's protecting his people, and that's his only priority. There's, it's like I don't care about you. I'm protecting my people. Yeah. There's an interesting thing where Namor was flying in the Arctic. Yes, he can fly. He's got like weird feather boots things, um, and he saw a group of people like doing praying or mm -hmm. like worshipping a um an ice block that had a person in it yeah so he grabbed that ice block and he threw it into the water that ice block held captain america in it mm -hmm. so he caused the avengers to find captain, captain america. america 
so they could revive him. So this is where all this comes from, so they're all linked together. But he is a great character. And I mean, again, he has appeared in the movie. I I wasn't blown away by his portrayal in the movies. No. I thought it was all right. I, I didn't... I kind of wanted more from Namor. Namor seemed more like a soldier in the movies than a king. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? He came across more as kind of a general than a king. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that kind of bothered me a little bit. But we'll see what they do with him, because he's now in the MCU. So we'll see where he ends up, how Fantastic he turns. Four. It would make sense. It would make sense that he comes back in that at some point. But um, we'll see. But he is 49 on our list. We will be back very soon with issue... Five, and I'll give you a glance warning. Um, clear, clear your calendar for issue five because if you're about to do it, it's going to take a lot of your time. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's probably the shortest issue of any build we've ever done, ever. But that is coming up next. But we will still be doing our Marvel talk on it, um, and we'll be getting it done. If you want to contact us, you can contact us at building the boys at outlook.com with any questions, queries, or anything you may have, and we will help where we can. Um, if you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe in a world where you can be anything at all. Just be nice. And we will see you next time. Say goodbye, Oscar. Bye. Bye-bye.